First, let's summarize in a few words what Spark is. Spark is a subset of ADA, so you can compile, debug, and analyze your Spark codes with all the tools in your ADA toolchain. An essential feature of Spark is the ability to write contracts on subprogram, that is, preconditions and postconditions. If you compile a Spark program with assertions on, then these contracts are turned into runtime assertions. For example, here, a precondition failed. If you analyze a Spark program, then the same contract can be proved. For example, here the contract of init is proved to hold for all values of the inputs. The analysis of GNAT proof also tries to prove that there are no possible runtime errors in the program. This is why you get other messages here besides the contract. Ghost code is a non-intrusive way to instrument your program. It is defined with the ghost aspects. Ghost code can be used to check various properties of your program. For example here, procedures init, first work item and second work item should be called in sequence. We can express these properties as contracts using the ghost variable state. For example, first work item should only be called when the state is init done. Then we can prove with Spark that the code correctly implements these contracts. As you can see here, as before, you can get confirmation messages from GNAT proof on all the properties it proved. Let's run GNAT proof on a client unit of the previous one. It points to a call inside the evil procedure bad client. Previously, there was no choice but to analyze manually why this is incorrect. With Spark 16, we can save on brain power as we now get a detailed explanation from Spark. By clicking on this icon, I raise a counterexample that is a path and a set of values that trigger the problem. Et voila! Spark Pro 16 supports the Ravenscar profile for concurrency in ADA that ensures determinism and schedulability. When GNAT proof is run in concurrent code, it detects all possible causes of data races and deadlocks. For example, this code defines a reader task and a writer task, which read and write a piece of data here. Yeah. When GNAT proof is run, it detects a possible data race when accessing the data from both tasks. Let's try to see. Let's run the program in which I added some printing and assertion. Indeed, it detects the data race and stops on a failed assertion here. There is a bit of luck though. With a different timing of tasks, the issue might be impossible to detect in tests and yet happen when in operation. This is why the static detection by GNAT Prove is invaluable to detect all possible data races and dialogues. To prevent the data race, we can make data a protected object. This ensures reading and writing of the data cannot happen at the same time. GNAT proof indeed proves that no data race may occur in this code. 